Hearings that took place under the Capitol Dome Thursday were held in separate locations, but state senators and House members had similar questions for those who came to testify. I'm looking for who is, where's the buck stop? So one lesson we could learn is care for the human beings, but we need to do it before than after. House members spent the morning grilling the heads of two of the state's largest energy providers, Vistacor and NRG. And we do not have an integrated and seamless gas and power system. And if we don't have a seamless gas and electric power system, what happened last week will happen again. Vistacor President Kurt Morgan explained that generating and supply lines froze up because Texas power plants are built to withstand hot summers and tropical storms. That excuse did final, not set well with Corpus Christi State though. Representative Todd Hunter. Don't talk about hurricanes to me. This was a snow cane. The power providers in the House hearing did not directly blame ERCOT for the power crisis, but Morgan said the agency did not seem to have a sense of urgency about the impending storm. In the state Senate hearing, CEO Bill Magnus said alerts and advisories did go out ahead of the storm, but he admits a communication gap did take place during the crisis. And we weren't talking enough. I think at that point, we were solving problems, but I think we should have been talking more. State Senator John Whitmire pressed Magnus about accountability and corrections. And I haven't heard in your comments, and I would challenge you to tell us one thing you would have done different or your team would have done different. Uh, I feel a great deal of responsibility and remorse about the event, uh, but I will and you know, we'll keep continue to investigate and be investigated, but I believe the operators uh, on our team did everything they could have in a, in a dramatic, but you very difficult changed, situation. You wouldn't have changed anything in terms of your play calling during those critical hours? As I sit here now, I don't believe I would. Earlier in the hearing, LCRA meteorologist Bob Rose addressed preparedness and was critical of local media. Now, at that time, we didn't know the exact magnitude, like this was going to be, you know, among like the top four coldest uh, outbreaks. However, a week before the storm, Fox 7's morning. Zach Shields so did sound the alarm. High likelihood of heavy snow, icy roadways, power outages. During the hearings, the CEOs of Vista Corp and NRG promised not to pass their high fuel cost on to their customers, but concerns about a pending power bill crisis brought this statement in the Senate. This is the largest train wreck in the history of deregulated electricity. The largest train wreck. And if, if, you, if, if it's not, please correct me and, and help me understand another one that has been greater. Getting the system back on track, according to Governor Greg Abbott, is a job the legislature cannot leave undone this session.